Hi guys, I am going to show you how to make a wonderful chicken dinner and who doesn't love a winner winner chicken dinner? So this is an arroz con polo, a Spanish chicken and rice dish, very easy to make and it's full of wonderful flavour. We're going to start off by frying off some chicken thighs, I have some boneless and skinless ones, you can do it with the bone in and the skin on if you want to. But we're going to start off in the pan with about a tablespoon or so of some sunflower oil. You want a nice bit here because we're looking for a really good colour on our chicken thighs. So straight in the pan, we want a really good bit of a sizzle going in here. While they're in the pan, I'm going to season them up with some black pepper and some oregano, or oregano, wherever you are in the world. Once that chicken has a nice bit of colour, we're going to transfer it out and you need to make sure that you use all that lovely fat that's rendered out and you've got this wonderful chicken flavour in the base of that pan and to that we're going to get straight in there with some nicely chopped onions, get the sizzle going on, give them a good stir through and get them nicely coated in all that lovely chicken fat, that's where the flavour is at right there. To our onions we're going straight in there with some nice sliced red peppers, this is going to add great flavour and great colour as well. Give them a good stir through and you're just going to soften these down just for a few minutes. The onions and the peppers have nicely softened down now so I'm going to add a pinch of spice with some dried chilli flakes, so just a little pinch. We're also going to go in there with some garlic and we're going to fry that off just until that is nicely softened down alongside the onions and the peppers and the minute you add that garlic in there you get this really great flavour, that smell wafting around the kitchen. And that's exactly what you want. This is the base flavour of this really great hearty dish. This is looking pretty good now, so it's time for some white wine. I'm going to add a good generous amount in here and we need just to simmer it down. Probably about a glass of wine going in here. Let that come to a steady simmer and you want the alcohol to burn off a little bit. The sweetness is what you're looking for in this dish. It's kind of a sweet sharp element that you get from the wine by adding into a dish like this. Also with the wine as it simmers down just use your wooden spoon or whatever kitchen piece of equipment you have and scrape down those little burnt bits on the sides because that's where there's going to be great flavour. So. Let that simmer down. Now the next ingredient to go in here is some tinned plum tomatoes. You can do this with normal chopped tomatoes or you can even do it with fresh tomatoes. So I'm going to get them straight in on top of our wine and all that wonderful flavour. And as soon as those plum tomatoes go in there, press these down with the back of the spoon so you get a nice smooth finish on your sauce. And now the next ingredient to go in is some chicken stock. Now essentially we're creating a base for the rice that's going in here to cook out. You want a rice that's going to plump up and take on all that great flavour. Now if you can't find short frying rice, whatever rice you have to hand will do the job, it just won't be as traditional shall we say. So straight in there with our rice, stir that through and our two last little ingredients to add a bit of flavour is a pinch of saffron. You don't have to add this but it adds this wonderful sort of smoky floral taste in there and adds really great colour as well. I'm going to go with the next pinch as well. And just to bring this all together and to give that sort of sharp bite, we've got some green olives which I've just taken the stones out of. Give it a good season with some sea salt and the real key here is to make sure that the rice doesn't burn on the bottom. So as it cooks out, just give it a quick stir, making sure you take up the rice from the bottom and incorporate it through the mix. This is going to be fantastic. The chicken now goes back into this simmering pot. Once you've all the chicken in, turn down the heat right down to its lowest setting. It's going to simmer with the lid on for 25 minutes and everything will be a-okay. Chicken has had its time cooking and this is what it's all about. That wonderful eruption of steam and you've got some serious flavour going on in here. I'm going to scoop out a little bit to give it a good taste. Nice bit of chicken, nice bit of rice going on in here. And so at this point it's worthwhile tasting to make sure you've got your seasoning because this whole pan can be served straight to the table. So just grab up a little bit of that chicken, a bit of that rice. Mm. That is ultimate comfort food. You've got plump rice, that really rich tomato sauce that is so fragrant with that saffron in it. All the veggies in there, your onions, you've got those lovely peppers. 
It's a great dish that you could adapt with a whole host of different veggies in there. But that, my friends, is a serious bit of comfort food and a perfect family dinner. If you want the recipe for this delicious arroz con polo, you can find it in my book, Eat, Live, Go, which is full of family favorites, lots of great dinners to get you going in the evenings. And of course, we will have the recipe in the box below over on my website. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for lots more delicious recipes just like this one. Give us a like, comment in the box below, letting me know if you're gonna try this fantastic chicken dish. And until then, I will see you soon. Goodbye.